Hello everyone. So today I'm going to try something a little different. I am going to review some perfumes for you, some of my favorites, because um, I was actually looking for some reviews on one of these and I didn't find any online. Um, okay, so the first one I'm just going to start with is the American Eagle. It's one of their newer perfumes. It is, um, it's called Bohemian and the package looks like this. See that um, it comes in a bigger size and then they have a little roller ball thing that I like to carry around in my purse it just rolls right on it smells really good um, I was shopping at one of the stores in a town near here and they didn't have the roller ball and she really tried to order it for me um, online she had some trouble but I just went to another one because I live kind of in between two and picked one up it was just 12.50 which is kind of normal for them. And then the bigger size, I think, was um, like 35. But this is more convenient for me because I like to throw it in my purse and just kind of freshen up a little while I'm at work or, you know, that kind of thing. You just kind of want to refresh because it smells really good. I love it. Um, they describe it as a ripe citrus and crisp garden herbs blend. And uh, it's kind of like based on a person who's a free spirit and... So it's really cool. It's that um, incense and warm kind of musk scent. And I wear it during the day, but you can wear it out at night too. Um, I think it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of your preference. Um, then the next one I really like to wear, um, I got this. It's Pure Purple by Hugo Boss. And um, I actually got this at a place called Plato's Closet. Um, and they had it there. Sometimes they buy perfumes and it resells. It's kind of a resale shop. Um, I actually work for them. <laughs> uh, but you can find this online. Um, I don't think you can find it on the Hugo Boss website anymore, but you can find it on, um, let's see, fragrancenet.com, um, perfume.com, Amazon has it, and they just describe this as kind of a little bit bitter um, of a, an aroma and don't take that the wrong way because it's I don't get bitter at all when I smell it I just ugh, it smells really good um I like to wear this when I'm going out not really as a work thing but I still kind of carry this around in my purse this I probably shouldn't um, it's got almond melon and orange and then it has some leather and white marzipan mixed in there and that seems kind of weird leather I guess but I don't know you know when I smell leather I kind of like it it's not just leather <laughs> don't take that the wrong way um, and the third one I'm gonna show you is actually from Victoria's Secret it's one of their body mists and I got this on sale mm, it was one of their holiday things I think yeah. it was within the last couple months um, it's actually $12, or you know how they somehow have, sometimes have their deals where they can, uh, you buy like three and you get a deal. Anyway, this is just described as a romantic violet. It's called At First Sight, and on the back it has a sweet little thing. Um, it says, it was love at first sight, butterflies in your stomach, hands brush, electricity, and then the kiss and a romance of violet and bergamo. I'm not really sure. I guess it's a French word, but relive the moment with this fragrance body mist. Infused with skin nourishing botanicals, it's a storybook path to soft, touchable skin. So, anyway, it's just kind of a light, fun scent. Um, nothing too heavy. You can wear it during the day or during the night. Um, I like to change up my perfumes because I. If I use them for too long, I become desensitized to it, and so it's not as fun for me anymore because I don't smell it on me. And then I think I don't smell as good, or I think that I don't smell like it. So, yeah, every once in a while I like to change it up, and I have more bottles of perfume in my room that I've had for way too long. Um, I think there's some old Charlotte Russe perfume in there. I used half the bottle, and then I kind of got sick of it, and then later I'll probably go back to it. But that's what makes these little roller balls so great is you can just get the little sample of it and then if you like to change it up you don't have to feel so bad you don't have to spend as much money up front 
That's why I didn't get the $35 one um, from American Eagle because I knew that I would use half of it and then get sick of it, put it away. So yeah, um, basically that is it for this. It's kind of a trial, my first review thing, but I really love perfumes and fun scents and so I figured I'd share them with you. Um, leave any questions you have down in the comments or you can uh, message me and I will answer any questions. Thanks guys.